Hello there Lunar Squadron and welcome back to the channel. We have an exciting and pretty requested feature that has been confirmed for Jedi Survivor. Fast travel will be in this game according to a recent interview with GamesRadar who sat down with the game director for Jedi Survivor and he confirmed that fast travel will be a feature in this game. So we are going to talk about what this means for Jedi Survivor, but we're also going to talk about some other information we got in this interview with the game director. But first, if you're new to the channel, we would love to have you as always. And the way to do that is just go down below this video, hit that little subscribe button, the bell notification right on next to it. It will notify you every single time Andreas and I upload the latest and greatest Star Wars and Jedi Survivor content. Also, we have a very exciting game coming out this week. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. Hogwarts Legacy is set to release in just a few days. And if you didn't notice, or maybe you did notice, we posted a poll a few days ago asking if you guys would be interested in seeing us have some Hogwarts Legacy content on the channel alongside our Jedi Survivor and Star Wars content. And you have overwhelmingly supported that decision. So guys, we are going to be including some Hogwarts Legacy content on the channel starting next week. We are very excited for that. Gameplay videos, breakdowns, maybe some ranking videos, all kinds of different content. We have talked about Hogwarts Legacy in the past. If you remember our top 10 most anticipated video from a few years ago, this game was on this list. So we're very excited for Hogwarts Legacy. Now with that little plug out of the way, Andreas, let's talk about some fast travel, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. All right, Andreas, we have a brand new interview with the game director, Stig Asmussen, who sat down with GamesRadar, and he revealed a very exciting new gameplay feature will be in Jedi Survivor. So why don't you go ahead and do all of us a favor, Andreas, and fill us in with what exactly was detailed in this interview. All right, so I'm just going to go straight to the quote here from Stig, and he said, quote, we will feature both fast travel and rideable creatures to help players quickly get from point A to point B and back to A. The fast travel is point to point and the rideable creatures offers a way to quickly negotiate. I don't know. It's like an interesting word to, to use there. Maybe navigate is better. I don't know. Negotiate between points and explore what is in between. Um, so I think uh, we've all known about the whole rideable mounts and creatures thing, but the fast travel point that you can travel uh, quickly from point A to point B in a fast travel system is brand new information that we're getting today. Um, and who knows what other new information we're going to get in this full article uh, of Play Magazine, which we'll release on February 7th, but, but we'll, we'll get into that in a minute, but for now... I think what gets me excited about just hearing that there is a fast travel system is that this really does play into the hand of what we've been expecting with this game. Nick, you and I have talked so much on this channel about how big these worlds are going to be and how big we expect this game to be. And the fact that they're implementing the mount creature system in addition to this fast travel system leads me to believe that the developers have really implemented a a plan to allow gamers to navigate this large world. It looks like they've looked at their large world and they've thought, huh, this is going to be a bitch for everybody to navigate around because of how big this thing is, so we're going to have to help the gamers out. That gets me excited because it tells me just how big these worlds are going to be in this game, right? Yeah, I mean, that's it's a great clue, a great piece of evidence to suggest that this game is going to be so much bigger than than Jedi Fallen Order was. But also, this was a very highly requested feature that a lot of people wanted to see in Jedi Survivor because, at least for me personally, Andreas, one of the most annoying aspects of Fallen Order was just how much backtracking there was in the game. You would have to traverse the whole map for whatever planet you were on, accomplish whatever you were going to accomplish, and then you had to make your way all the way back. And it just added a lot of needless time, a lot of just needless wasted time in this game it, it just wasn't necessary and it's this was something a feature that i was really hoping to see 
in Jedi Survivor was just an implementation of fast travel where if you wanted to use it, it was something there that you could use. No one is going to force anybody to use fast travel because I do know and I have looked around, a lot of people actually aren't thrilled that they're including fast travel in this game for some reason. I've seen some negative feedback and responses to this confirmation which I don't quite understand just because no one is forcing you to use fast travel. It's just an additional feature for those of us who want to use this feature, who don't want to just backtrack the entire way. So it's really nice that Respawn has chosen to include this as a new feature in this game. As we've talked about in the past, it really appears that the team over at Respawn is taking the feedback that they had from their fans from Fallen Order and really working to implement features in Jedi Survivor that will just make the experience as a whole for the player so much better. I'm very, very happy to hear that fast travel was confirmed because I I like I said, I thought this was something that was desperately needed in Fallen Order. Yeah, I think there's there's some thanks in line for the for the devs and the, the team over at Respawn for, for implementing so much feedback that they got for Fallen Order into Survivor. First off, with with fleshing out the combat system further, we've seen in the trailer, uh, in the most recent trailer, how diverse the combat's going to look in this game. That's something that we really wanted to see, and we've got it. And something that, just like Nick said, we had this this linear design to the levels in Fallen Order where you had to travel all the way to the back of the level to get to where you want to go, and then you got to fight all the way back, and sometimes that whole uh, going all the way to the end and back is just, it, it would just be nicer to travel quickly from point A to point B, B to A, exactly like what Asmussen is saying here. And I totally echo your point, Nick. I think if, if you're sitting there watching this video and you're angry that there's fast travel in this game, I'd like you to fast travel off of this video because I don't think there's any real reason to be mad about this. It's a feature that you don't have to use. Nobody's holding a gun to your head. Nobody's making you use this feature. So I just don't see the reason to be mad, honestly. Um, anyways, the, the exciting thing here that I'd love to talk about is February 7th. We know that this article is going to release Play Magazine is going to be highlighting Jedi Survivor on February 7th in just a couple days now. We know that we're going to get an interview with Asmussen. I'm wondering just because this is the the original lead up to the game's release before it was delayed. Like we're we're in, you know, that that those final stages and I wonder if there was a plan that was put in place to release, you know, maybe a a, a trailer alongside uh, this news article here, maybe some more information. I'm thinking maybe something like concept art. There definitely might be concept art in this article itself. But Nick, just maybe just spitballing here, what do you think we might also see in addition to this interview here about fast travel in Play Magazine? What can we maybe look forward to on February 7th? Yeah, so this just appears to be a preview of their upcoming full interview, like you said, that's releasing on February 7th. So it appears we're going to be getting a ton of new information about Jedi Survivor, and it appears that Asmussen is willing to talk about gameplay features that will be in Jedi Survivor. So it makes me wonder if we will be getting confirmation of other features that we've been wanting to see in this game during this interview that releases on the 7th. So that's incredibly exciting. You know, I... I just, again, I really appreciate that the team over at Respawn took the feedback that they got for Fallen Order and are trying to implement it to the best of their ability. And, you know, we're coming off the heel of this delay just this last week, but it, they, they're pushing it out six weeks because they want to make a game right by their fans. They want to make sure they have the most polished and best put together game possible. And you can see that with all of the features they're trying to implement and the care they're trying to take in this game. And it's clear that the team over at Respawn really care about making a game that the fans will love and that they will be proud of making. So that is very nice to see. It's it's just nice to see that in the gaming industry because that's something that has been really lacking over the last few years. Just a, a dev team that really and truly cares about implementing new features, taking feedback, and making the necessary changes to their game. And, you know, another thing you said, Andreas, that I do find interesting is just how the marketing, it feels like, is starting to ramp up for Jedi Survivor now that we have this announced interview and magazine feature on the 7th and then we have IGN FanFest just 10 days later where 
God knows what we'll get from this game on that day. We could be getting a whole trailer. They could do a 25-minute spotlight. Like, we have no idea what we're going to be getting, but what we know for sure is that over the next few weeks, we are going to be getting so much more information about Jedi Survivor and so much new content to break down for Jedi Survivor, and that is incredibly exciting because although we do know a decent amount of stuff about Jedi Survivor, if you really just take stock of the two trailers and some of the interviews we have... I have a pretty damn good feeling that we are honestly missing out on a lot. I feel like Respawn is holding back a lot of cool information about Jedi Survivor. So the sooner we can get more of this information, I think just the more excited we're all going to be for this game. Because I have a feeling that this game is truly going to be something special. It's going to be a very special Star Wars experience. And each article we get, each interview we get, more information we get just further confirms my own personal feelings about how special this game is going to be. I couldn't agree more on that, Nick. Like, this is going to be perhaps the greatest Star Wars game that we've seen in years. If not the best Star Wars game released to date, I think that they're going to to really release something special here. Or at least that's really what we're all rooting for. Um, and I totally agree with you on your point that they haven't even scratched the surface, guys, on what they've shown us on this game because we've dug so deeply into the trailers that they've released so far and they haven't even shown i don't even think like like two percent of of all of the worlds aside from the the main hub world that we saw i think a majority of that trailer was just what we presume to be the the biggest or or hub world that's going to be in this game i don't think we've scratched the surface on the other planets that are going to be in the game so i i just think that we have so much in store to be excited for coming into this week and then the week following this really is such a hype time to be looking forward to this game and if you guys are looking to play another game as you are waiting for star wars jedi survivor why not give hogwarts legacy a crack i know we're going to be playing it here on the channel and honestly if you guys have any suggestions for what you'd like to see us cover in Hogwarts Legacy let us know in the comments down below because we'd love to fool around in that game as we await Star Wars Jedi Survivor but also guys rest assured we're going to be covering all of the Star Wars Jedi Survivor news as we lead up to release including this Play Magazine and the IGN Fan Fest this is such an exciting time to look forward to Star Wars Jedi Survivor we are incredibly excited here However, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, we will see you all next time.